Corey, congratulations on an amazing film and uh, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ray, appreciate it. So listen, there's a line that you mentioned in the film that I thought was the most powerful line, period. I'm gonna read it to you. Power is, um, means a world where we're uh, safe to be ourselves, to look like we want to look, to, uh, to, to think like we want, and without having to answer to anybody for it. Now, after all that we've put into it, don't you think black people deserve that much? Dude, I thought that was the most powerful line and just wanted to know, have we come to that point as African-Americans, as black people in the entertainment industry, have we come to that point where we now possess that power to, to be just that? Well, that was definitely my most impactful line uh, in the film um, when I read the script. Uh, and it was the most difficult line for me to deliver, um, to be honest with you, because I was trying to do a lot of things to make it special, to make it impactful, to be an actor. And um, it actually was Regina who came to me and said, you know, you're just talking to your brother and you don't have to do anything with that line. You don't have to do anything with that scene. You can just talk to him and be honest and it'll be special um, because it's gonna be real, because these are real conversations that we need to have with each other and that we have with each other every day. Um, and it changed the whole dynamic. And then also we happened to shoot that scene about a day after George Floyd, um, which also obviously uh, made it real in a whole different sense. Um, I mean, it's hard to say, you know, it's hard to say, have we, have some things changed? Yes, um, but no, I don't think, I don't think we're fully in that place right now as, as, a, as a people, in, in, especially in America. Um, where we can say that we're free, you know, to really think like we want to think and, and to um, live how we want to live without having to answer to anybody. Um, and given our history, uh, you know, that's a sad thing. Muhammad Ali has been played so many times before, whether on stage or in film. What did you want to bring differently to this portrayal? Because honestly, I, I totally forgot that I was seeing you and I felt that I was really seeing a young Muhammad Ali or AKA Cassius Clay. Thank you, man. Um, your question was, what did I want to bring to it? I didn't want to bring anything of, of Eli to it. I just really wanted to capture um, him and to try and do, you know, give honor to his legacy and, and uh, create an homage to, to who he was and, and to the great life that he lived and, and the things that he accomplished um, and his bravery uh, and his indomitable spirit. Um, but yeah, so that, that was my goal was just to, just to honor him and honor his legacy. This is such a powerful love letter to black men. And I feel like it's a movie that we so need as a black man living in, in this world. I, I felt like we don't really get to see our images the way that they were portrayed in this film. So can you talk about just what you want audiences, especially black men to walk away after seeing this film? I mean, I just want people to, to see it and to get what they get from it. You know, I, I don't believe in kind of having an agenda or, or um, trying to force something onto somebody uh, when it comes to art. I think you, you tell the story um, if you think it's an important story and if it resonates with you, and then you let people take it for how they take it and, and to observe it and to, um, and to connect with it in the way that they connect with it. I think there's so many different things that you can take from this. Um, and then even, I know a lot of people that have gone on and Googled and looked up research after watching the film and just learn more about these men's lives and, and you know, the things that they accomplished and the impact that they had on the world. So um, I wouldn't tell anybody to take anything from it. I just hope people watch it. I hope people like it. Um, and that hopefully it resonates with them in, in some way. Eli Gorey, thank you so very much. Congratulations and best of luck in 2021. Thank you, Ray.